Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are well. I hope this reading finds you well. Yeah, with all those changes, challenging times, hope you are staying well and navigating. Let's see what messages. Oh, that's too many, way too many. Spirit has in store for you, actually. Just gonna take this bit. Your messages are in this. So, we have lots of questions this week. Let's see if Spirit can answer them. At the bottom of the deck answered prayers. So you do have a lot of questions, and let's see if Spirit have answered them. Lots of communication. I feel like a lot of communication is taking place this week for you and um i know venus is going retrograde in the sign of gemini which is the sign of communication we have the opal let yourself sparkle and shine you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world the last three readings I did, the focus was on being bold, um, being unauthentically you, uh, not compromising on who you are. So, yeah, um, some of you have been in a closet, um, not being your true self. This situation is a multifaceted one. And um, there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you are asking about. So it's a multifaceted multi situation. However, based on you being the creator of your destiny, you could always recreate. Okay, if it's not working, go back to the drawing board. Uh, start from scratch. But only you have the power to manifest your destiny no one can take that from you and we have the fluorite crystal wonderful crystal i love working with the fluorite because it allows you to be your true self you know it allows you to sparkle and shine and let your true self come through and the angel is holding two balls globes orbs her heart chakra is illuminated as well as the crown ch chakra. So this is about uh, being yourself as God made you not naturally attractive and lovable on the inside and out. You let yourself sparkle and shine being who you truly are. Don't be fake. If you're fake, it will be known. You know, Others can see through that fakeness. You know, And we're not here to be like other people we're here to be ourselves so i'd say masculine and feminine aspects of the self you know that balance in who you really are um, i'd say twin twin flame as well with this card so really allowing your natural beauty and authenticity to shine through so some of you might be dealing with a twin flame connection or romantic situation however spirit is saying this is about progress not perfection and you're possibly judging yourself too much so don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself instead of focusing on upon how far you've come and all that you have learned yeah so you're being too hard on yourself those of you who are doing that focus on progress not perfection how far you've come where you've been all the lessons that you have learned again there are two masculine and feminine it's really echoing through this reading i i know i see the twin flame connection the two the duality yin yang a balance make time for self-care Taking time for yourself is essential right now. Really focus on thyself. When I speak about yin-yang, uh, we all 
have masculine and feminine quality qualities within perhaps this needs to come into balance this week now, instead of focusing on things outside of yourself really allow the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself to be balanced playfulness harmony power surrender and release blessing oh so, play have fun take a leap, leap of faith connect with your inner child take that leap let yourself sparkle and shine have fun this week guys don't take things so seriously i know it may be challenging saying this with, with all what's happening in the physical so things are being brought into harmony and that is uh commu communication with the self again really balancing your energy field for others of you uh, a situation that has been a source of concern uh, is now just really coming back in harmony with um what you're expecting or what you hoping and wishing and praying for you are very powerful be free to express your power yeah don't limit yourself be free to stand in your power okay? let your natural beauty and authenticity shine through you are powerful being of love and light let others see that release and surrender to god and the angels for healing this is emotional balance yin yang balance progress not perfection to so release the need to control the situation let it flow let things flow by focusing on a specific outcome you are not allowing you know things to unfold for you naturally let the blessings flow don't restrict yourself to focusing on a particular outcome gonna go on to the love oracle to get some more messages of clarity i'm seeing a twin flame connection there so if you have any questions focus on your questions and be open to the answers that you receive your cry for help has already arrived it's here guys your cry for help has already arrived it's a multifaceted situation. Some of you have to go back to the drawing board and let it out, cry. It's okay to be emotional. Always keep in mind that I love you. You are loved. Spirit loves you no matter what challenges may present itself to you at this time. You are loved. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. So your heart contains the answers. Search within so that clarity can come through. Find that balance within yourself. Ask spirit for the answers. But your heart knows the answers. Take time out for prayer and meditation. So the answer from your heart could surface into an angel and affirmation for you Ooh. angel of your home so something is happening within your home that is understandable because some of us might be locked down within the home at this time so did you know each home has its angel do you ever connect with him is your home always tidy do you keep a lot of unnecessary objects perhaps Think about it and start a cleaning process. Above is as it is below. Outside is as it is on the inside. If there is junk around you, it is also inside you. When you clean up your home, it will be easier for you to start. When you clean up your home, it will be easier for you to start cleaning your inside. Call for me to help you clean your home. Begin to connect with me 
and the energy inside your home will support you strongly your affirmation is the energy of my home supports me in each moment and i'm seeing archangel michael as well so for those of you um, who need that additional courage and strength call on archangel michael however what is on the inside is what's gonna or, um, reflect on the outside and the cleaning process starts from within within you within your home so those are your messages let me know how they resonated and hope to see you here soon thank you